And we're back, this is Ripe Designs again, and we're gonna be doing a video on uh, installing the Forever Rad IP6 Baja Light Kit. Um, also with that, this video, um, I got a, uh, a J-Rod kit. So I'm kind of excited to see the difference, uh, if we can put that two differences together and, uh, and go from there. Uh, J-Rod kit. Puts the headlight back, I think whatever it is, half an inch, so it doesn't protrude out of the fairing uh, extensively. So. Okay, I guess we'll take the fairing off first and then, uh, yeah. Huh? Should I back it up and see where the We can. Is? We can and uh Yeah, wherever you want to do it at, man. No, I'll turn off the lights in here and then we'll just kinda of get an idea where the light will shine. on back in this joint. So let's look at the clamp. Let's look at the, cause that, here's the two clamps, right? All right, so this is the, the Kyle one, right? Forever right. Okay, let's get that other, let's get the J-Rod one. I just wanna see what the differences are. It's made just a little different, but it's the same. But I think what happens is we're actually going to put a spacer like this, so it brings that light back a little bit. I want to say that is the only difference. So, in essence, if you wanted it back, you could do the same thing.
Mm -hmm. The templates are just a hair a bit different. And you're talking about, talking about that much of a difference. Put a spacer behind there, or you don't care. So it would just set this back into the fairing, what, like a quarter of an inch? So this comes back because what they do, because this piece that comes in here, you're just gonna, it's basically gonna come back like that. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, install some spacers on this forever rag kit. And I'm just literally gonna use the square spacers. You're never gonna see them. So first thing we're gonna do is install the light, right? Okay, where's all the hard work for that? That's what's right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That has to be... That's front, right? So we've got this dude with you has to be there, this one that has to plug into. Is that existing harness? Oh, that's for the actual light itself. This is the one. That's what can fit into, right? These two we can put something around and heat shrink them back up. And he is good for the fair. I got nothing to sit in here. Boom. This should be in the room. Let's see what on the touch side, right? I'm gonna get a 10 millimeter bolt for that. Unless you wanna get the speed system going.
nice and secure. So I just want to show where I'm putting this relay at. I'm sure you can put it anywhere you want, but we're going to put it right here. We're going to use the other amp mount area for the relay. We've got this side plugged in right here. I'm going to go ahead and tie these up. Pretty sure these are for your side lights and so forth. So those will go back on. It's good for your Baja light. And now we just got to string the wiring. So that's what we're doing next. All right, we're going to wire this backwards. So basically we've already ran it. Uh, and I'll show you how we're running it. And we're going to tie it back backwards. I want to show everyone we've done here. We've ran the wiring into here. I just put it in the boot, make it be easier. Zip tie it back into here. Okay, now we're running, we got the ground, top side of the other ground, as you can see. Now we're gonna zip tie this part, this harness going all the way back, and I'll show you that process as we go. Oh, shit. All right, we're gonna start our zip ties. I'm gonna zip, zip tie this one right here. And then I've got one, I've got it running right through here. It's kind of hard to show, but. You got it running right through this channel here. Continue zip tying this. Doc's gonna go ahead and put the front end back together. All right, we're back up to the position of putting this back on. Again, we've got the relay here. We'll just use that hole for that actual 
thread, thread for the actual other amp. You're gonna put another amp in here. And then uh, this should be for the light, which I believe it is. We'll plug these back into the fairing. This is the tie, which I might just have to tie that back in there before we go. Go ahead and see what we get. So, yep. Ooh, that's bright. God damn, is that bright? I know it's been covered a thousand times, but now with this light, you have two bolts in there. Okay, the center one's gone basically because you can't even get the darn thing. Lights in the way, of course. And the bracket doesn't have it, so easy enough. Then on this side, you've got one screw that holds this top portion. You got the other one that's way in there. That's in your cubby hole. And then the last one, which is one that you always will forget, is down there. And that's what tightens the fairing onto the actual inner fairing. All right, we got the tank back on. Not many videos about tanks. On off, I've done this probably is the third time on the same time on this one. Basically, got your two bolts, you got a still disconnect, you got some disconnects up here. This slides forward and the back, and uh, that's really about it. So, now we're gonna go and check the light out, get the light finished up. Uh, let's do that, and then um. See how our alignment's at, and if we need to adjust it, we'll go ahead and adjust that. Yep. We don't have a gloss of either. All right, guys, we're finishing up the um, headlight bezel for the Forever Rad light uh, Baja light install IP6. So uh, I did try to get, we sanded off our little nub here on the bottom. Um, that goes on the bottom side, but it, I don't know how the hell you'd ever get that in there. This is my opinion. Ooh. I just cut my thumb sharp and uh, so we, then we trimmed up the piece of plastic part of it or the rubber or the rain and now we're gonna try to fit that baby in there can you just hold this right here all right so we got this all situated this is gonna be snug as a rug and a bug Fuck, this 
past that tight without that fucking nub, man. Yeah, I don't see how that nub could even stay on there at all. <sighs> Holy shit. Alright, we are finally finished. Um, I had to do a quick job. I had, to, I had to actually cut this out three or four times. Not cut out, but just massage it until it fit just perfectly in there. Um, side profile looks pretty good. I like it. The light's super bright. And we'll be seeing here probably Saturday how bright it really is. Um, anyways. That is the install. I did cut off this, uh, what do you call it? It's like a nub. The nub that's supposed to fit into the air fairing because the regular light is like probably a quarter smaller than this light is. So I cut that off. It fits tight. I don't know if it would never pop out of there. So you don't need that. And then I did cut off the top to where the sticker was at from Forever Rad. And uh, that worked pretty good. I had to just trim a little bit more because I wanted just a hair bit of space. Which, oh man, it's perfect now. Okay, so there you go. That's the light install. Hope you enjoy. Looking bright. Those lights are so bright, dude. 